it's a funny story. So we're in Houston, right? And Dane decides that we're going to get a bike today. And we look through the yellow pages and Trek popped up. It's Trek, right? It's pronounced just Trek. Trek, Trek. And let me tell you, from the get-go, the door was opened for us. So that tells you the level of customer service that you're going to get. And it was a warm smile. And from the warm smile, the level of professionalism, the knowledge of the bikes, and the interest in the persons riding the bike was just top shelf, as the expression goes. And that makes a whole lot of difference for somebody who is a non-rider like myself. And I, we had to take the time to just say, Kurt, awesome. So between Trek and Kurt, I'm not sure who's better, Trek, the bicycle, or Kurt, the person selling, but the at ease that we got, good price point, again, exceptional customer service, everything you can think of, it's in the store. So Kurt, give us like a backstory, because that was my backstory. When you guys walked in? No, just just, oh, you, just your bike and everything and what we have, because Manu Kinter established that fact. All right. So Diane has the Electra County 990 path that, you know, 27 and a half inch wheels, disc brakes, um, it's a comfort. It's a bike that's stable enough that a beginner could ride. Hello. <laughs> and we set it up where she can be comfortable with it, and then as time goes by, the pedals go on, and she can start to enjoy her bike. And then right next to it is Dane's bike, which is really cool. Carbon fiber hybrid with carbon fiber wheels. Um, very classy looking with the you know tan sidewalls. The bike can be ridden off-road and on-road. They can go on their traveling trips together and just enjoy their bikes, pulling them right out of the trailer. Um, we make a good product. I can't speak and say anything else other than um, these are both great bikes and they will do exactly what they need to do and keep these people smiling. Oh, so, and that's 100%. Yeah, so... so Awesome. <laughs> so, so if somebody was in the market for a Trek bike, where would they go to fight, get you? Uh, just come by Trek Bicycle Champions, which is in Spring, Texas. And just ask for me or one of my guys will help you. And everything is better in Texas. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the computer is right here. There's a button. Uh, just cycles through all the, the different screens. The, the miles per hour will always stay the same. Okay. You've got timer, which is active use, distance. Uh, average speed, max speed, that was just me spinning the tire, how many calories you burn. Um, and then if you want to, I believe, to uh, kind of delete that out. So if you're done with the ride, you're like, all right, you know, ready for the next one. This should just be a press and a hold. Is this linked to an app or anything? No, it is not. Okay. It is not. Oh, okay. And now if you want to clear the data, so press and hold, clear data, yes. And there's a little button on the back side. You just press that. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, that's a squishy button. Okay. And it's battery operated. Yeah, just going battery. battery. Yeah. yeah, it's like a 2026 20, or something like that. Mm -hmm. But it, it'll last for quite some time. Uh, it's wireless, so there is a battery down here in the sensor on the leg. Uh, oh. It's just like it's like a mini AAA battery. Oh. And then, uh, so a big thing that I find the most with five, these wireless five, computers five, is five, if five, they five. stop working, nice. typically. So this is just it has a little rubber boot with two uh, zip ties on there. So if this guy gets kind of you know pushed out of the way, the sensor, the, the sensor and the magnet need to pass almost touching, right? So you want it super, super close. So probably that far away. Computer so reading it. So good computer. Okay. Uh, but if ever not, is not reading, just make sure that that is you know sitting so nice and close. Oh, yeah. And same with the magnet. You know, if the magnet gets twisted okay. like that on the spoke, sometimes it won't read. So just make sure yeah, that. Sure. It's facing the sensor, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it should keep everything working properly. Does it tell you how to ride? Does it tell you how to ride the bike? How to ride it? Yeah. No. You know, it's they, not that good. Not, not cool. We right. have a bike, it doesn't tell you how to ride. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> but I can see we've got the pedals off, so we're going to set you up essentially like a balanced bike. So you should pick that up in no time. That'll okay. be easy. That'll All be right. Easy. And then just same thing on the, on the other bike. Both bells left hand, same kind of position. Same functioning for the, the computer. So that's really it. So Jeff, which bike is Kito? Mine or this? Ooh, I'm not starting that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, will, I will step away. That is a bomb. <laughs> So this was Diane and I's experience at the uh, Trek Champions 
store in spring and uh, we had an awesome salesperson, uh, Kurt, and then Jeff there did a great job explaining to Diane and I how the bike and the computer and all of that works. So we had an excellent um, time at the Trek store. Now I'll post the links to the store uh, below.